very proud of this facility as Jennifer had mentioned, and I always keep thinking, not bad for some farmers, huh? <laughs> because of the changes that are happening, we also need to you know, diversify and bring about services that benefits not just our community and Maricopa, but all of Pinal County as well as the state of Arizona. Uh, to our auction council hosts, thank you very much. Uh, also to everyone else for coming today. Really appreciate it. I'll be very, very brief as uh, you're not here to hear me, you're here to hear Senator Flake. And I just wanted to uh, kind of reference the partnership that goes on between the uh, city of Maricopa and Achen. Um, I, I love learning from uh, the council. I love learning from the stories and the history and the things that, that although we have very separate lives, we also have very uh, unified and lives that are together. And I believe that we walk together as, as, as friends and as family. And, and as such, I think that uh, we're able to accomplish a lot more uh, together than we would, uh, you know, separately and independently. I, I appreciate the partnership uh, that you have uh, between the Mar uh, city of Maricopa and the Akchin community. It's uh, really great to see the contribution you made to Copper Sky. Um, and that's what a wonderful facility that is. Uh, we'd love to have something like that uh, next door. Uh, so residents here are fortunate to have that. And uh, what you were saying about this being a farming community, that's, that's how I grew up. Uh, in fact, uh, if you look at the end of my right index finger, it's gone. It's uh, left it on an alfalfa field at age five, <laughs> windrower accident. Uh, actually, I was five years old, put my finger where I shouldn't have with the sickle right down there, and it, uh, it cut off quickly. And my dad grabbed the, the, the end of the finger put it back on, wrapped his old hanky around it, <laughs> put me in the truck, finished the job, and then drove me down. You're <laughs> likely to see a shortage declaration uh, when water hits 1075 and Lake Mead, which will start to impact uh, agricultural community, and then ultimately the municipalities and other water users. Myself, Senator McCain, and former Senator Kyle sat down several months ago with Governor Ducey and said, you know, how can we get all the stakeholders in Arizona on the same page to the extent possible. Let's figure how we can get some consensus items that we can push in Washington so we can make the most of our leverage. There's going to be drought legislation moving through, probably initiated by the Californians who didn't plan as well as Arizona did. Um, and we want to make sure they don't take our water. Power generation, huge issue here. Some of the new regulations coming out of the administration uh, would really increase uh, the electric rates around here. Some of it, if we were to hit the deadlines they want, would make it impossible just by virtue of the distribution system we have here. For a state like Arizona that is 85% publicly owned uh, between the uh, state, federal, tribal land, and only 15% in private hands, uh, it, it makes it difficult to have the tax base you need to provide services. When the federal government makes decisions, whether it's the EPA, uh, or anybody else, it has an outsized impact on a state like Arizona. What is your idea of uh, helping improve education in the state of Arizona? And, and two, do you believe that public funds equals uh, public rules? So, uh, Lamar Alexander has been pushing through the you know, reauthorization of the No Child Left Behind, but really, it's quite a pullback from where the federal government has been to allow more latitude. Whenever we can block grant money, block grant it, let it be decided locally. Change in the, the makeup of the Senate here in Arizona. How will you reach out to uh, newly elected if that comes about and offer your support and uh, guidance to support that person? Well, as a Republican, I don't want to address that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but hey, uh, we've seen right now we have uh, obviously Democrats in the congressional delegation. We met met together with the governor uh, the other day, the entire delegation. Um, and uh, if, if, if Andrew Patrick happens to be elected, uh, I'll work with her just as I would Senator McCain.